If you're not home by six, remember, you can always listen live to Nine News Queensland. Your number one news on River 949. This is Nine News with Davina Smith. Good morning. We start in Brisbane where emergency services are right now at the scene of a construction site collapse in the city's southwest. Josh Bavis is live there at Dara for us. Uh, Josh, good morning to you. Two people have been injured. The petrol station, it happened in Johannesburg. No one, remarkably, is believed to be critically injured. Coming up, preparing for takeoff. Thousands head to airports ahead of the Easter long weekend. Next, we've got advice for travellers. The police officers involved in last week's Nashville school shooting break their silence. And still ahead, the unexpected item which sparked a blast at a laundromat. The man has been charged in the wake of a horror crash near Leeton in regional New South Wales that claimed the life of a woman and three young boys. Alex Heinke is at court. Well, a man is set to appear in Griffith Plans. local court. Well, hundreds of thousands of travellers are today heading off as the Easter holiday rush hits. Andrea Crothers reports from Brisbane Airport. Airport terminals are the busiest they've been since before COVID-19 hit, shutting the country down. 69,000 people are expected to pass through Brisbane Airport today. Early, 90 minutes for domestic passengers with checked baggage and two to three hours for those heading off overseas. Still ahead, a platypus spotted on a train in Queensland. Yep, why the sighting has sparked an urgent search for two commuters. He may have turned down an invitation to the coronation, but US President Joe Biden reveals plans to cross the Atlantic to visit the UK. We'll tell you why he's going after the break. Plus, and scored a big boost for the Bunnies ahead of their Good Friday clash with the Bulldogs. Police are on the hunt for a missing platypus after it was taken north of Brisbane. Yasmin Bonnell has the story. The platypus has been missing since Tuesday. In the heart of Warsaw. Sport News Now, a big boost for the Bunnies ahead of their Good Friday battle with the Bulldogs. Jason Demetrio has confirmed to represent the US at the event instead. And it is showtime. The gates to Sydney's Royal Easter Show have opened this morning. The dreary weather not turning people away. Hundreds arriving for day one with pre-sale tickets, their strongest level in 15 years. The event celebrates the best of Australian agriculture, bringing the country to the city, and it runs until the 17th of April. Stay with us. We'll have your weather details next. The national weather forecast for you now. Brisbane looking lovely today, reaching 29 degrees. A shower or two for Sydney in 24. Canberra partly cloudy in 23. Late showers are forecast for Melbourne, 26 degrees. Showers increasing for Adelaide. Hobart a little bit cloudy in 21 degrees. Mostly sunny in Perth, reaching a top of 25 along with Adelaide. 33 for Darwin, mostly fine. And that is Nine's Morning News. We'll be back at 4pm with your afternoon news. 5pm though in Adelaide and Perth. I'm Davina Smith. We'll see you soon.